Hello and welcome to Baptist Arcade and today we're going to be reviewing one of my favourite games on the Spectrum and Commodore 64 and that is Way of the Exploding Fist but this is going to be the uh, Spectrum Next version by Wasp Studios which is the R Spectrum programmers so stick with me and we'll go through the good and the bad. See you in a bit. Right, so I'm going to be testing where the exploding fist out on my Engo, which is exactly the same as the Spectrum Next. Um, I'm going to try playing it with the PlayStation 4 pad, because that's my pad of choice. And I'm also going to test it with one of my favourite joysticks, the Zip Stick. So we'll load it up. So you've got some music at the beginning of the game. Sounds a little bit distorted, if I'm honest. Not sure I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure that music's better than it sounds, but um, I've got to say I'm not a fan of that at all. Loving the screens, that's my school table. Right, so let's go into options. Um, I think first thing is I'm going to turn that music off. So apologies, whoever wrote that uh, that music. I'm sure it's really good, but it just sounds really distorted. So um, not sure, sure what's going on there. Uh, AY musical oh, will have that full volume. So loving this uh, controls. Uh, the options menu, loving the options menu. So we've got change colours. Okay, so we can change hair colours. So we've got black, brown, yellow, red, white and grey. I'm going to go for yellow hair. Uh, we can also change our gi colour, which is your karate suit. We can have the traditional white, we've got red, purple, lilac, um, got like a grey colour, brown, green and blue. I'm going to go for red. So my character looks a little bit like Ken from Street Fighter. Got some flickering here on the feet, I don't know what, uh, what's causing that. And then what else have we got? Controls demo. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. So we've got the position of the joystick. Um, shows you what keys to press if you're playing on, on keyboard. And we can perform all our moves. So 
the animation on your character is really good actually I, I like the uh, I like the animation it's like a mix between the Commodore 64 one and the Spectrum one so happy with that so yeah that's really cool I'd have liked some sound effects if I'm honest some grunts that would have been nice but there you go um, so I return and that music's come back so I'm not sure why that came back there we go saved it this time so we'll go for one player Well, as you can see, the backgrounds are gorgeous. the end screen that would have been nice to have had some a, a different day wide tune there but again it's just personal preference Yeah, the um, the hitbox on the sidekick is a little bit iffy. Well, it plays nice. I like that. Nice little sound effect there. Well, oh. it's a turn round. You basically do half of your round ass kick, you pull back to block. So, if you can hear that, it's quite funny. AY music's nice, loving that. Yeah, some of the hit detection is a little bit odd, um, but I'll I'll test it out with the with the joystick in a minute, see how it plays. This is a one button game anyway, so you don't really need to have a pad. Fun kicks a bit weird on the hit detection. sound effects some more grunts and some more um, like whooshies of, of kicks and punches and I mean the 
the ones that are included are, are good. I just needed a few more. Like um, IK Plus on the, uh, the Amiga. So let's see if we can um, so listen to this AY music. Hitbox is a bit weird on there because it misses the high kick. It misses it there. Hey, why music's amazing. Love this, love that music. That is so good. Should have been a. Well, again, personal preference. Not around the year old. <laughs> That looks like it doesn't save your settings. Which is a bit odd, I thought they'd... Uh, they would have enabled that, but I hope. Sound effects and music to the max in game AY music, that is. Um, ah, so we've with a joystick, it's button with, with a, a joypad, sorry, it's button two to go back. You've only got one button on a joystick, so you can. Press two or um, I think that's extended mode, maybe. There we go. We'll leave that for, as default. Right round the year old. Just 
Try again. Yeah, I can do some music there. Just a little beat, just a little piece. Yeah, I'm struggling with the joystick. It's definitely been made for um, the pad. Tough to get the diagonal. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, that front kick, that front side kick. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit com comedy, uh, comedy yard yeah, that is. Comedy yard. Yeah. 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 There we go. That's our Calvin Jersey. So there we go. Wave the exploding fist on the spectrum next. So let's go with the bad points first. So I'd have liked to have seen a few more um, sound effects. That would have been cool. The top music, not a fan. Um, just sounds very distorted to me. So I don't know if that's something that can be fixed. Um, what else? What else? What else? It doesn't seem to save your settings when you reload it back up. Um, but I th oh yes, and some of the hit boxes as well seem a little bit out, maybe. So that could do with tweaking. So that's the bad. Good. The good graphics, awesome. Um, backgrounds, nice and colourful. Love the animation of the characters. AY music, it's fantastic. Absolutely love the AY music. And the, what else we got? I like the options. Yeah, options are good. And the control uh, tutorial, that's really nice. I like that. Um, so, all in all, a really, really good game. Whether it's better than the original, playability wise. Not sure yet, I haven't uh, played it enough, because I do like the original, both the Specky and the C64 version. 
Now I've got more, so would, would I buy it? Would I buy it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I've bought the digital version and I've got the physical version on the way. If I was going to give it a score out of 10, it would probably be around 7, um, 7 out of 10, just because of those few minor issues and um, personal preferences, I would say. So there we go. Get yourself on the WASP website, which I'll put a link below and in the description. Order yourself a copy, because it's definitely an essential game you're going to need to play on your Spectrum next. So that's it, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!